Hey guys, I'm Miles Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Last episode, we were basically clearing out the deck or submarine uh, of the German people that were, the German soldiers that were hiding within the, sh the submarine. I was surprised that there was actually a weird hidden spot, and it was ginormous for some reason. Yeah, sorry, I'm just hearing what they're saying. It's just a little bit... A little distracting with all the stuff in here. I'm guessing they're just talking to each other and interacting with one another. Oh, I can see my legs. I didn't realize we can see our bodies in general, but it's actually fascinating to see our bodies in this game. Uh, what is this? Set diary. All right, pause and read that. But uh, yeah, li literally, uh, in the last episode, we were fighting out the, the German soldiers that were hidden inside the the. Uh, the Nazi folks in the uh, submarine that they technically owned at first, but then we didn't realize there was a hidden, <laughs> hidden area of them, uh, and they were apparently starving to death and stuff. They were close to dying, but technically, <laughs> uh, they were releasing our information so that they could get the, the Nazis to attack our just our submarines and stuff. So it was kind of interesting to see there was like a s hidden section of the of that space. Uh, got rid of them. And then now we're on our own again. Uh, we did rest uh, Caroline. Oops, I keep forgetting that's another thing. That uh, you don't click on that. Uh, we did rest Caroline in peace, basically. We just gave her, we just let her have like her moment of peace to, to launch her out into the water, I guess. Um, with a missile, like put her body in the missile for like a tomb, tomb coffin thing. Um... The worst explanation but anyways point is yeah we're now in the sh submarine we're just exploring what we can here pause and read as usual um we're just exploring the ship uh now because i haven't actually got to see what the heck the ship had to offer but i'm guessing most people are looking into what caroline has left behind for them i guess a map okay so yeah well, we're, we're just kind of looking for the in stuff in sad times i like to listen to music do you like music herr blaskovich is, is the ship shaking on its own? I guess. Yeah, the ship is shaking on its own. I'm not, I'm not like moving my mouse or anything. It just seems like the ship is moving on its own and and shakiness. Interesting. Set is set is the old man. He's been examining the suit of armor. It seems, which is interesting to me. Oh, there's an artwork in here. Okay. I mean, that was really random that uh, there was a thing there. What is this? I can't really know where these items are placed, but they're just there, and I'm not, like, knowing until I see it <laughs> on the side there. But at least we're getting some time to explore and, like, collect some collectibles as usual. Unknown Nazi scientist notes. Okay. I mean, we did see some crazy stuff in uh, the old blood. I I'm starting to remember some of the old blood stuff. Uh, and there was a little bit more fic fictional, like, demon-style somethings, I guess, if I recall. And I'm wondering if they're gonna play a little bit into that, play a little bit into that in, in these future Wolfenstein games. Because it feels like it's such a missed opportunity to bring them back. Like, say, like, oh, if somebody's, like, spent time with, uh, with whatever. Oh, there's a set, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to set first. But we'll, we'll look around the ship first before we... This is a good home for us, Caroline. You always made the right call. Hmm. Yeah, so I want to explore the ship around so I can grab some, like, extra documentations and stuff like that. Because there is a lot of collectibles in this game still. It's insane how much these collectibles are, are in this game. I mean, the collectibles in the previous game, in Old Blood or even New Order, uh, both are pretty, truly pretty, like, straightforward. But it's, like, nice because it helps with the world building. But I think that there's a lot of reading. That's in fault. Captain, my friend. Hello. Oh, what is this? Star card. What does a star card do? Oh, I see. <laughs> I guess these are like alternate versions of like the the celebrities in this game, I guess. Oh, interesting. So we can collect these cards in the in this submarine thing. Okay. Um 75 star cards, 10 15 maxes toys to 50 50 concepts, 16 death, death cards, that's a new one, records, gold, 
I'm not sure what gold would do, but it's interesting. Uh, 18 readables, of course. We have we got 150 readables. I don't think this game would be this long, though. I think of, if I'm if I'm thinking about it, I think that th this game is pretty sizable. Um, Mayhem stealth. I want to do more stealth, but increased damage with, with suppressed weapons. I haven't gotten enough, I didn't, haven't gotten a suppressed weapon enough yet. Total hatchets. Oh, so I can increase my capacity by just throwing a bunch, killing a bunch of people with the hatchet. Ah, okay, that's a really good thing, I guess. Takedowns or tampers. Get the laser craft or blitzen diesel ammunition when tampering. Huh, okay. Still locked under the... They're, they're all locked, apparently, for whatever reason. I'm guessing it's like you have to get everything else, I guess. Commander alarm signals are jammed, delaying al alarm activation. This thing is kind of a weird upgrade, honestly. Uh, Increased movement speed and... Couch, crouch. <laughs> I misread that. Crouch. Okay, I really, I would like that a lot. Increase magazine size. Slower deflate on health overcharge. Increase speed of regenerating health. Okay. Interesting. Excuse me, I'm just looking for collectibles. I'm just looking for collectibles, buddy. Oh, that thing looked kind of shiny for a bit. But it is interesting because I think that when we were here in the submarine, we didn't really have like a full... I think we had... it was the same level from the new the new order, but we just haven't had a full... There was like a full Max look through. Relax these crayons. Is it, we haven't seen like a full full let through, let go of it, I guess. What is this? Oh, this is the music music box. Okay. Inspect. Max's happy birthday card. No. Klaus, no, rest in peace, Klaus. Klaus died in the in the new order. If if you haven't seen, if you haven't played the game or seen me play the game or seen other people play the game, uh, I recommend people watch that because I think there's a lot of references to those characters in this game still, nonetheless. Uh, that's kind of like that are like very much important, I think. Like this guy, Mombate was. I knew uh, I should have never let Max play with that piggy from the first place. Will there ever be a bry now? <laughs> Starcart. Wonder what Starcart this is. Peter Gully. Hmm. Is this guy a developer? It looks like a game developer in an art form, I guess. I do wonder if the collectibles would actually be useful in some capacity or not. Oh, that's cool. They have like old photos, photos of his uh, his family, I think. Yeah, it's like, like it's mom, I think. Bombay was from the previous game. I, I thought he died. I think I might have mixed it up because I didn't know uh, due to him getting injured heavily in, uh, in the other game, I think. He was very majorly. Oh. Like Hello, little biggie. Can't believe Here we had a pig. Me, girl. Feed Rosa. That's an objective now. How do I feed Rosa? What? I don't know how to feed Rosie yet. I need to figure out what food I have to find, I'm guessing. Whose room is this? Can't zoom in, unfortunately. Is this Anya's? Or was this Caroline's? If it's Caroline's, it this would have sucked a lot more, but... It is kind of hard to know because I know I see Anya's and, and Blaskovich's picture over there, but I can't tell if this is Anya room, Anya's room or not. But I think it is Anya's room for sure because it seems like it due to uh, the pictures. And maybe the sewing kit. I'm not sure if she likes to sew or not. Alright. Um, oh, yeah. Wyatt, Wyatt. Really groovy this music, Cap. Uh-huh. I would like to find uh, collectibles here. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> he has like a weird crane for... I really think that it's nice to just explore the uh, the map a bit about every character that we've seen so far or we've interacted with so far. Uh, let's see what's upstairs. I haven't seen what's upstairs yet. Like, it's nice to ex actually explore these things at least. I'm not gonna... Well, actually, let's look at the concept art. I was thinking, nah, I don't want to look at the concept art at all. 
Yeah, we didn't see this earlier. Eva's Hammer. We saw this one last time, which is like Blaskovich's home, I think. Set's note again. Set has a lot of notes, just lingering about, really. Super Soldier, okay. I wouldn't be surprised that they're breeding a bunch of Super Soldier stuff, honestly, due to the factor that the, they, that the German Nazis in this game wants to, like... They probably want, like, the best of the best, like, for fighting-wise, and they probably are like, is this a jar of piss? Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. That was the worst questions asked in the weird middle of talking. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fascinating that they were looking for as much ways to make themselves the strongest thing around. But I'm just wondering how much more would it take before they realize how stupid they are to look for all these things. Hello, Captain Blaskowitz. Abraham Holiday. That's a great name, I guess. How are you feeling in head, Mr. Stubbins? Good days and bad days, Irina. When I take my pills, I get a most dreadful headache. What happens, Mr. Stubbins, if you do not take your pills? Well, then I would enter a psychotic and paranoid state. My friends would become my enemies, and I would be a downright hazard to myself and everyone around me. Mm. I might be compelled to engage in incomprehensible manic ravings for <laughs> hours on end while neglecting to eat, drink, sleep, or make use of the lavatory. My teeth would grind and I would start chewing my own tongue. Ew. I would not be quite myself, frankly. Yes, Mr. Stubbins. And that is why you take pill even if head hurts. I will make you take pill even if it means I have to ask Mr. Captain Blaskovich to track you down and knock you out. <laughs> I keep eye on you. Yes? You are a right angel, Irina. I feel like she likes the guy a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what the relationship of that is, really. <laughs> so that Arm Arnfried's, Arn Arnfried's letter... Are these the Nazi... Is this the stuff that they took from the Nazi soldiers inside the hidden parts of the ship, I guess? It's kind of interesting. Because I know that we found a bunch of stuff that they were writing journals and mail letters to people, but... They weren't, like... They weren't, like, delivered at all because they just haven't had the chance to deliver themselves, I guess. Due to the fact that they were stuck in that part of the ship all that time. Oh, that got picked up, okay. I'm not sure what gets picked up or not, if that is the case sometimes. The Fuhrer is our guiding light. I think we already read this. In a weird way, I feel like we did, but I'm gonna just read through it anyway. So I'll pause and read, let you guys read through it. But there's 150 documents, so I'm just guessing that there's just gonna be a lot of readings that just kind of wraps around the sort of like idea of what happened to the whole, the whole world, basically. Uh, what happens to, to the whole world in this world still in this uh in this fictional reality in a sense hmm. hatchets are missing oh they don't even have an audio playing for this <laughs> i thought it would be an audio because of the the what's gonna call it this this audio device no uh tape this tape looking thing an audio tape looking like material okay oh keep doing that i gotta stop pressing escape it's so weird that escape is not escaping the menu part beloved viewer guest stars and trust and brother not sure if trust and brother is a reference to a real tv show but it sounds like it should be another tape again electronic tape E post Sorry, I'm trying to There we go. Yeah, because my audio jack was starting to buzz on me. <laughs> it's just like kinda of making weird sounds on my ear. Alright. Oh, dang it, keep doing that. Alright, so we got that good. Is this Oh, I see. I picked up another document, but I thought that that document I was reading on the floor was actually the one I was reading, but instead it was reading another document that overlapped 
this uh, this detecting this thing. Okay, now we've, we've read everything that's around here. What is this? Oh! Combat Simulations Freedom Chronicles. I believe Freedom Chronicles is a DLC thing, I think. Combat Simulation is just to help us kind of train ourselves, I guess. I'm not going to do any of that yet. Uh, I'll hold those off a little bit. I mean, I don't know if, we'll, if, if I'll ever get to the combat or the chronicle stuff. I, I mean, I, I do have the, all the DLCs. I have all the DLCs in the Season Pass stuff for this game, so I will play those at least. Hello, Captain. Hello, Arena. I'll play all of those stuff anyways, in general, but... I can't believe Caroline is dead. Who will lead us now? I think maybe Wyatt will? Interim leadership, you mean? Until we find some more suitable person? What do I know? I'm not exactly part of the inner circle. Your dear. This is not good. Not good for sure. Hmm. Okay. General Engel destroys American terrorist hideout. For some reason, my head thought it was tourists. <laughs> it's like, why would you kill tourists? They're just tourism. <laughs> no, it's terrorists. My bad. <laughs> Engel. So it's the lady. This is, so Engel is the lady's name. I forget that her name was Engel. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that she's tearing... She's tearing down whatever she can. Yeah, I scroll two two lines down in a weird way. Okay, let's scroll the rest. Dang it. I keep pressing escape. Stop at me. Is there anything else inflectable here? Where am I? Oh, this is the command center. Okay. Another star card. Who's this this time? Oscar or, or Oathgrove. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's like another developer because th those faces are very specific in a weird way. Um, this is Engel, right? Irene Engel. Oh, her Engel is her last name. I thought Engel was her first name because they kept saying Engel, Engel, Engel. <laughs> She's 56, 29 years of the service, almost 30, wow. 62 what? The weight says 62, and I'm like... 62 kilos, I guess. I don't think she's 62 pounds. That's way too light. <laughs> Almost to the bone light. Uh, so I think it's kilograms, which would have benefited if it had at least said something. Her blood type is always negative. Interesting. Her spouse is dead, actually. She used to have a, uh, a spouse who was technically that lover boy that uh, we actually killed in the... The new order because he was trying to kill us with an injection first at first it was an injection but then it just ended up being like whatever for her or for him we ended up defeating him in that re regards oh this is caroline's room yeah yeah this is caroline's journal here oh this is the aftermath this is talking about the aftermath of what happened in the new order so the Nazi lost their research division, huh? Interesting. So basically, we were successful in the case that we were uh, able to stop the research division to look for some new advancement to their technologies to try to fight to try to fight and close. And kill all those uh, those that betrayed them, I guess. But we at least slowed them down dramatically because Deathhead was like the guy who was honing on to all these like advanced technology and stuff. But I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if the Nazis are starting to look for more like ancient powers, like they did in the old. Blood. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Juna. So I'm guessing Juna is a. a person that we'll meet up with later on oh all they've known all they felt like water damn. like it never was dang so devastating to lose caroline so early but i mean that's the only thing we can 
I mean, losing Caroline now is like ripping the band-aid off to kind of say that they need more characters in this game or something like that. I feel like that's the case usually. Like they need to try to change up character mo motives and stuff like that, I guess. Um, I want to see what's in this room, but I think this leads back to the yeah the, the area I was seeing earlier. I do see some ladders, and I'm wondering if I can see if there's anything collectible-wise up here, I guess. There's that chair Anya sat in earlier. Oh, star card. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I, scratched the <laughs> I scratched my mic by accident. Tommy Death. That's a nice last name. If that is his, If it is his real last name, that is. Tommy Death is such a last name. That sounds really nice. Uh, oh, this is that one spot we just saw that I just didn't climb up with yet. There should be a, a like a star card here too. I bet would have been nice because it's such a small com a small compartment. All right, I think we're done exploring all we can here. I think that's a dead end. Man, this is—it's just a lot of rooms, honestly, with a lot of collectibles, really. Yeah, this is the sets, uh, sets research room. Locked for sure. Makes sense. Yeah, I think we've we've explored everything we can for now. I might be missing one or two rooms, but even then, I think that they will probably be caught up with later on if I revisit around and everything. So let's do it. And it's also funny she's looking at a record label. Die Kaffer. I think it says. Oh, there's more. I was about to miss that one. Fred Start. Man, we got a start and we got a... <laughs> we have a guy whose name is Start and, and another guy whose name is Death for the last name. It's kind of insane. So I'm missing one more star card, it looks like. Darn it. Oh, concept. I'll take it. We're missing one more star card. We're also missing one more... Uh, we're several more, like concept art I think yeah we got like a bunch of concept art we're missing like five I think because I, I picked up this concept art right here in the ship Num number nine was picked up just now so that means there's a lot to go for in the ship I'm hoping that there is like a spot we can just revisit if there is any but I don't think I want to spend too much time on looking around more thoroughly I guess I was just seeing this ladder, I was like, mm. Maybe there's something over here? Armor? Yeah, I'm full, on, I'm full on armor, but... What is this? Oh, jeez, what is this? <laughs> that was... Man, gonna make me chase you, ain't you? Oh, there's an upgrade kit. I can upgrade a weapon? Sorry, I, I sorry for jump scares myself. I mean, I don't mean I just I got jump scared and I just didn't realize. All right, what is this? Uh, magnum extend suppressor. Yes, this is. I didn't know you upgrade. Oh my god! So the only way to get these upgrades, Tinkerer cheap and unlocked. In order to get these upgrades, I have to legit like actually have like upgrade kits. That's kind of weird, honestly. But at least we're getting some, I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. I thought it was a suppressor again. No, you can't upgrade. You cannot upgrade heavy, heavy guns. Yeah, max out on the things. How do you? Oh, the suppressor is already attached. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna stick with this gun for now. I think. That was really random. Why did the robot just like, just go the way it did? It's kind of weird. To me. Trapped here, I guess. What what is this part of the ship though? That's the other issue. I don't even know what the hell this part of the ship is. Oh, this is a shooting range. Uh, I'm guessing I have to like crawl through here because he he is running away though. The robot is running away over here. Stay down, dude. There we go. Ah. Seth's got to be more careful with his experiments. Yeah. 
I agree with you. I was not even expecting that either. Oh, I see. This is like the weird experimental things. Uh, I didn't mean to use that gun. Alright, interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, tons of art. I'm pretty sure there's like uh, a bunch more of those stuff as we go about it, I guess. But this is a lot of stuff I'm just finding randomly, right, I guess. Where does this lead? Oh, it leads back to over here. <laughs> I like how, how ridiculous this could be. Oh, there's a shooting range stuff. I'm not going to worry about the shooting range stuff. I'd rather just like go about things and just look for collectibles for now. What is this? Armor. I am wondering when, when we'll get the shotgun. I'm pretty sure I remember the shotgun being a pretty good weapon in this game in general. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is like how it just makes a noise. <laughs> kind of a weird thing, though. Right, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna talk to Set because apparently Set still is still the only thing that would help us go forward with some other stuff, I guess. But it is cool to have, like, random stuff in this place, I guess. Random extra stuff. You're back, Shimshin. How was my shooting range? It's pretty okay. Um, I think that should. Yeah, you know what? I'll just move forward. Screw it. I I feel like I've already explored a good chunk of this this boat so far, and it's there might be more. I'm curious. There might be more. Well, but I need to spend more time on it. I think. Ah, uh, well done, you go there. You fresh apple, you. Eplaskovich, your lady Anya, she was here looking for you. Oh, 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 yes. Anya found Caroline's notes about the American resistance cell in New York City. Look for her in Caroline's room. I was there not long ago. I didn't see her in there. What the flip? <laughs> yeah, what's my color? The band, the Kefa. <laughs> Have you listened to their music? 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 You want my head to explode? <laughs> it's music, she calls it. They sing very well. Yes, yes, they do. And they look good, too. Well, of course. That's not a bad thing, is it? No. No, it's not bad. Johan is my favorite. So mysterious. Oh, very mysterious. Oh, I remember romance. Yeah, I do. Vaguely. <laughs> It's just make believe. What? Mother doesn't like make believe. She has my marriage already arranged to the son of the head of the secret police in Berlin. That's fantastic, fantastic. I don't know anything about him except that he sweats a lot. Ugh. Plays golf all the time and uh -huh. smells of onions. Ew. I hate onions. Oh. You you are free of your mother right now, no? Yeah. You you can go on any romantic adventure you like. Just do it. Yeah. I s suppose that is true. <laughs> I mean, it is true that she should explore her options. <laughs> Seth's telling her to shut up. <laughs> She's just singing louder as soon as he said stop it. Jeez, and she's singing like crazy though. <laughs> you can hear her singing from such a far distance. I don't know why the UI got stuck on the screen though. The UI is stuck on the screen that uh, shows my objective. I still don't know where the food is for the pig. I'm still kind of like wondering where that is. Oh, not Anya, but somebody else. Captain. Hello. You look unhappy, Captain Blaskovitz. Sorry. Isabel Williams. All right. I think I got all the, the cards that I can find on the ship at the moment, though. There's 12 of them, I guess, on the ship for the concepts. Yeah, I think they will show up as we keep going through it, I guess. Am I unhappy? I don't even know anymore. I can't see my own face in this game. 
Um, but yeah, the UI for the uh, for the objective marker is like for some reason stuck on the screen. I'm guessing she's crying because of Caroline. Anya. Oh, William. I can still smell her in here. I found Caroline's notes on the American resistance cell in New York City. Yeah, they died. I know their exact location. Go talk to Wyatt for me. I asked him to do something, and he wouldn't come out of his room. We have to gather everyone to get ready for our next move. Of course. We've almost arrived in New York City. Oh, really? We're, we're already right there. That's crazy. I think they died because of the tor the terrorist takedown is what they said earlier, but I oh, don't I know. Tell her I'll be joining you, Caroline. Make her watch as I fade away. Maybe she already knows. Keeps pretending like me. Greetings. Hello to you. Oh, we can use a periscope. Wow. I can't see anything, but this is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck was that? Hello, Captain. Hello. But yeah, I, I don't... I don't know. I feel like there's not much going on still for terrorist groups of the... Of the the terrorists, quote unquote terrorists. I wouldn't say they're terrorists, but they're just terrorists to them. But uh, yeah, like it's kind of crazy that that's what that is. I thought that was an item I didn't pick up. Wyatt is in his room, I believe. He didn't really want to come out of it, though. Oh, I see. This is the exit the level. Mm. Yeah, let's just transition to the next level, and I'll start the next level as the next episode or the start of the next episode. <laughs> Bro, Wyatt. Oh, gosh darn it to heck. Oh. What's up? Oh? He found a letter. What is this? Stickers. Strawberry stickers. <laughs> the smell one. Why? Why did you lick it? That's so nasty. What's up, Cap? Time to start I the next. I reviewed Caroline's notes. The New York City Resistance Group is concealed at the top of the state building. It says, oh. yes. I assume the high altitude means the radiation is at tolerable levels. Yes. However, we, we can't simply fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're gonna be shot down. I guess. Can we reestablish contact, let them know that we're coming? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Carlin's notes. Mm. I have to approach from ground level. Yeah. Introduce ourselves face to face. Ground level? I mean, the whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Damn. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Oh. <clears throat> this one. <laughs> this armor will protect, protect us. from all radiation. So I'm going in alone. Guess you're going this one alone. Yeah. What else is new? <laughs> Bate, can you give him a ride? Easy. <laughs> sure, boss. Can I help? How so? <laughs> Five degrees part, one sun continues straight <laughs> forward. Hey, big friend. You mm -hmm. better watch out. Hey, hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles. He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. How? Oh, no, I'm from Texas. Wait, what? <laughs> from Texas and you no know, crocodiles are ever seen there, maybe? Oh dang, there's dead Jesus there's some Christ. There's some really old dead people here. There's some really older dead like really, really like old dead type people here. Honestly, I'm surprised she actually went out there with us. Yeah, I'm surprised she went out here with us. Man, women, children, not screaming no more, but I can still hear you. Yeah, I, excuse me as I speak over the music. I tried to speak over the music due to the factor of copyright stuff. I don't really... Even though I turned off the music completely, it just still doesn't... Seem to, they, they seem to still keep it, like, hanging about music-wise. I don't think we're fully, like, able to stay underwater for that long, can we? I'm kinda curious. No, we can't. Okay, no, we can't. We can't. We can't stay. <laughs> we 
We cannot stay underwater for that long. God, jeez, really? That kind of sucks. We're in a suit, crying out loud. And they said the suit can breathe through the radiation, right? So why the hell do I have the excuse of not having to be able to breathe underwater for, like, infinitely without worries? That makes a little bit... It, it kind of defeats the story a little tiny bit, I would say. But yeah, I'm looking to see if there's any secrets or anything over here. I just want to make sure I got my collectibles here before we end the episode today. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of You Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We're going to have to one of watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and continue through this war-torn New York City, I guess. It seems like we got, uh, it seems like the New York City got bombed by the Atomics uh, in this capacity, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, we're going through a destroyed Empire State Building, I believe it is. It's kind of cool that we're going to see an, uh, a, uh, a different side of what happens in this particular reality. So it, it, I'm, I'm very curious, genuinely, um, because we rarely get to see a, a uh, destroyed city like this. Uh, it's a rare occasion, of course. Like, there's very few games that have the ability to be in this capacity, like, a metropolis city style like destroyed place kind of thing but anyways that's it for this episode so i'll see you guys next time Roz. Ah.